Let's now relate this material to diagonalization of all things. I mean, I know at first blush, it might not seem very related, and it might seem like we left diagonalization behind, but let's say you're looking at a discrete dynamical system. So you've got x of n plus 1 equals a times x sub n. Another way you could think of this would be in terms of transformations. If we define a t of x to be a times x, then x sub n plus 1 is t of x sub n. So, Let's say we have this transformation. We're going from a V to itself via multiplication by this matrix A. And let's say that A is diagonalizable. Then the columns of P form a basis of Rn. I know that because the columns of any diagonal matrix, sorry, the columns of any invertible matrix form a basis, and if A is diagonalizable, then P clearly is invertible. So we have a basis made up from the columns of P. Um, now relating this back to the last few videos, we use this basis to define an isomorphism between V and Rn. And over here, the same thing. We use this basis to define an isomorphism. And this linear transformation has a corresponding linear transformation down here. If we're calling this T, we've got this transformation T hat down here. And we've seen that T hat of a vector is the B matrix times this vector. Now, in this special case, where this basis we use, we use comes from this diagonalization. When you diagonalize, it doesn't matter whether the inverse is here or here, but I edited this to match my notes. 
anyway, um, when this basis comes from the diagonalization, this B matrix turns out to be the diagonal matrix in the diagonalization. And that seemingly quite abstract result is going to have important implications in the next section.